Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your five in five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. CT Realtors held its first ever virtual board of directors meeting this month. The directors gathered on Zoom since they were not able to meet in person. It was the first directors meeting of this year because the March meeting was canceled due to the coronavirus. President Joanne Breen says it was important to move forward with the association's business despite not being able to meet in person. At this point, we couldn't hold off anymore because we had the 2021 budget that had to be presented to the board and approved by them. And I think it was also important because not having had any real ability to have contact or interaction with the entire board of directors, it was time that we did convene and have an opportunity to update everybody at the same time. In addition to approving the 2021 budget, the directors also approved some changes to the bylaws. Joanne says she is hopeful that the October Board of Directors meeting can be held in person. The Board of Directors meeting also included a presentation by the CT Realtors Foundation. One point of focus was this summer's fifth annual Dog Days of Summer fundraiser. It benefits three pet organizations here in Connecticut. Brass City Rescue Alliance in Middlebury works to rescue and rehome animals that have been neglected, abandoned, or abused. Friends of the New Haven Animal Shelter offers support to the second largest municipal shelter in the state. And Pack Leaders Rescue of Connecticut works to save dogs and cats, both locally and from the South. Anyone can make online monetary donations or purchase items off an Amazon wish list for each organization. Go to ctrealtors-care.org slash pets to support the drive. It runs through the end of August. In honor of CTR's centennial, the association created a timeline video highlighting some of the milestones from the past 100 years. <laughs> The video was initially shown at the Emeritus Lunch held in early March and was included as part of the virtual Board of Directors meeting. Go to CTR.TV to watch the entire Centennial Timeline video. CT Realtors, making the American dream a reality for 100 years. Members who use Ziplogix may have noticed a new name on the products and services. Ziplogix is now Lone Wolf Technologies. The change does not affect the functionality of the products or a member's ability to use them. CT Realtor members receive access to electronic forms and the transaction management platform as well as document storage as part of their NAR dues. The CTR forms website and library are updated to reflect the name change. NAR recently featured a CT Realtor as part of its Realtors Are Good Neighbors campaign. Lisa Croce is a member of the New Haven Middlesex Association of Realtors. She helps fundraise for the Beardsley Zoo in Bridgeport and volunteered more than 600 hours at the zoo last year alone. NAR continues to highlight Realtors who give back to their communities through volunteer work. The association launched the Realtors Are Good Neighbors Facebook page last year to tell their stories. Follow that page at Realtor Good Neighbors on Facebook to see stories from across the country about realtors doing good in their communities. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.